Hey guys, welcome to the 8th part of the Roblox Scripting for Beginners tutorial series. Today we're going to be covering uh, Roblox events. Uh, so let's just get started. Let's create a new... Oh, come on. A new script. So to get started, we got to create a new part. We're going to put this here. And so we have this part now. So, events are basically functions that run when something happens. So, for example, if I do workspace.part.touched, this event will run when that part is touched by another part. So, connect function. This will, this connects a function to this event right here. So, if I just write print, oh, come on, print, touched and then I play as you can see it says touched because the base plate has touched it if I touch it it'll happen a lot of times because there are many parts on my character's body so this can also take in a parameter so if I write part here this will now this part thing will be assigned to the part that has touched the other part <laughs> touch so if I do that and then I concatenate it to be a part so that I do put the part name part dot name and you'll see touched base plate and if I do this it'll be touch it'll make a bunch touched up upper left upper leg right upper leg left lower leg all of my body parts now you can also make this connect to another function. So function uh, on part touch part. Real quick, let's just place this in the air a bit and anchor it. So now if I were to print touched part dot name and then part dot anchored equals false. And then instead of having this run a new function, we have it run par on part touch. And you don't need the brackets here because it's already uh, doing it without the brackets. We'll just give it the parameters that were given to the, f the event. So if I hit play, so as you can see, nothing's happened. But if I touch it, My mistake. We gotta do workspace dot part dot anchored equals false. So now if I run it, you'll see it now unanchors when you touch it. Now this is of course not the only event. Not all events take in parameters either. So let's just so if we just go to view object browser here it'll open this window and it has all the different types of parts and within each different type there's all these different methods events and variables that you can change and all that so let's just find part right here so it's got all of these things these are uh, methods so like they're functions for each for the part there's uh, the variables that you can change on each part, but what we're looking at today is the events here. So it's these little, these ones with the little lightning bolt icon. So of course there's touch, and then there's touch ended. So that's when a, when a fired when a part stops touching another part. On the summary here, or child added when a child is when a child is added to that. So like something is placed under it, and. There's all these things that are very useful. So I'll do one more example. Workspace dot part dot touch ended. Connect function. Print touch ended. And I'll put in the parameter for part. With part dot name. Then I hit play. So you'll see now it doesn't actually say when the 
touching has started, but rather if I jump off of it, touch ended with left foot and humanoid root part. So that has been Roblox events. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.